Nice, right? Ah, uh, Tenet and Tenet Coco. Ah, uh, Tenet, Tenet. Ah. Uh. What is up to all the Vaporians out there? My name is Adrian Lowe. Welcome to Asian Vapors Reviews. In this video, I want to tell you all about this device. As you all can see, lah, this device. Lah. This is a new UWELL Tenet. Ah, they coming out with the Tenet. I also don't know what means it's a Tenet. Lah. Ah, Tenet. T-E-N-E-T. -E -T. Tenet. Ah, Tenet. Okay, they coming out with the UWELL Caliban Tenet and also the Tenet Coco. Ah, Coco means it's square. Lah. By the way, in this videos, I'm not selling, I'm not promoting, I'm just doing vape reviews. Let's not wasting our time. Now, let's just start the reviews. So this time, UWELL Caliban, they coming out with this type of uh, packaging uh, which is like a cyberpunk cyberpunk like this lah this one is a Caliban Tenet Coco port system and then for this one is a Caliban Tenet port system uh, it rests at the top right here okay and actually the size the dimension of the box for the Coco version and also the not Coco version uh, the stick pop version is also the same size lah so the packaging is like this though at the back it rests a little bit of the specification like this and then it seems as this one okay now let's just take a look inside the packaging so for the Caliban Tenet Coco port system uh, it's a square device like this and for this one it's a stick pot uh, Ah, stick pot device lah. So inside of the packaging, of course, you will receive one of the device like this and also one of the Tenet Coco device like this, okay? I'll show you the comparison later. So for the Tenet Coco, they give you one box like this. Inside, you receive a lanyard and also the cartridge and also the one OCC coils extra. Inside of the cartridge, it's already got one OCC coils but they give you one extra OCC coils some more. And then they provide you a Type-C USB cable. For this OCC coils, they're already at the cartridge. It's a 0 0.8 ohm, 13 until 18 watt. And another one that they give you is the one point. 2 ohm. Uh, okay, so for this cartridge, uh, uh, it's uh, compatible with the 0 0.8 and 1 ohm and 1.2 ohm. You can use the 1 ohm as well, but it's not included inside the packaging. Nah. So for this Tenet Coco, they give you this box inside got cartridge. is because you need to like this, put in the cartridge. But for this one, there is no box right here. It's because they already got the cartridge right here for you all. Uh, it's already got the cartridge. Actually, it's the same. Lah, okay. Besides than that, underneath, you still receive the uh, UWELL Caliban Tenet User Manual like this. Inside of the plastic, they will give you the warranty card, blah, 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 all these cards like this and then this is how the user manual looks like and for tenant stick port actually it's the same as well they give you the UN2 mesh 1.2 ohm 9 until 13 watt OCC cost like this tiny cost and then at this section right here they give you the type C USB cable and then you open there's a user manual right here so for the stick port you want tenant uh, they didn't give you the extra length yet uh, but for the Coco version they will give you the steel length yet so that's the difference between the few things lah okay so guys before we take a look at the device let's just see about the specification right here you can compare by your own self both of the device material is the same PA uh, plus aluminium alloy and the dimension of course is different net weight for the Tenet Coco is 61.5 gram and for the stick pot is 50.4 gram more lightened and the EDQ capacity is the same 2 ml output power is 18 watt and for this one this one is 16 watt this one is 18 watt okay this one is more powerful a little bit another thing is core specification actually is the same as well uh, the FECRAL 1 ohm caliber G cost is sold separately battery capacity is different a little bit for this one is 950 milliamp for this one is 750 milliamp so that's the few difference lah this one 950 milliamp battery for this one 750 milliamp battery and uh, another difference is this one they give you the lanyard this one is more heavier and this one there is no lanyard provided but for this one you got a button you can use the draw activation or either you can use the button for firing but for this one there is no button at all so let's take a short comparison okay for these two device let's just trip in the e-juice first lah okay let's just trip in the e-juice for the cartridge right here you can adjust the airflow uh, you can twist this airflow this one the OCC you can pull out as well like this okay this is a 1.2 ohm currently inside this cartridge and then I'm gonna using this e-juice this is a Cardinal Crystal Mineral e-juice it's a salt juice the feeling is like a chill chill mean mean like this okay and then for this cartridge it's a top refill uh, okay you can you need to oh, very hard oh. <laughs> and then just strip in 2 ml of e-juice like this pro, 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 pro. take it out and then just put back this top cap like this pro. some they got a side refill this one is a top refill lah uh. I also don't know why lah uh. So remember to try out this Cardinal Crystal Mineral lah guys, okay? Usually all those sport device are using Cardinal Crystal E-Juice lah, okay? Very keng chow. So inside it looks like this, same as this one. Actually inside is the same, okay? This inside of the pin is the same. Uh, the size is also the same because they are using same OCC coil, same cartridge. It's only the different design and also the battery milliamp. For this one is 18, for this one is 19 watt. So this one should be more powerful. Uh, but both of these devices also can handle the uh, 0 0.8, 1 ohm and also 1.2 ohm. At the OCC right here at the bottom, we got written the wattage right here. For the 0 0.8 ohm, uh, the best is 13 until 18 
16 watt lah. So for this device, it only can support until 16 watts. But by the way, you can put in the 0 0.8 ohm as well, no problem. Okay, one, two, three, four, five to turn on this device. There's an LED at the bottom. See. Uh, LED at the bottom uh, and also for this device there's a vibrate uh. when you press it that time it didn't detect the uh, OCC cause okay it didn't detect the pin this bottom it's got a vibrate boom, 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 boom. okay I think you well last time all those devices also don't have the vibrate mark this time they're coming out with vibrate device so one thing that I can feel for this time uh, they're coming out with this type of device uh, it's like a cyberpunk like this lah. Uh, as they mentioned it's a wasteland and mechanical style uh, wasteland and mechanical style lah. okay see nice right uh, tenet and tenet Coco, ha, ten it, ten it, ah. So after you attach the OCC cause the cartridge, when you press the fire button, ah, oh, see. See, the firing hole, oh, there is no delay. Okay, so let's just talk about the design. There is a dot, 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 dot right here. And then right here, it writes you well. You can charge at the bottom right here with the Type-C USB cable. And then this one, this is how the design is like a like this. Uh, right here, there is a airflow right here. And same as this side, airflow right here. But you still can adjust the airflow through this dial right here. Uh, through this dial right here, see you want the MTL or DTL. Remember, uh, for this cartridge, uh, uh, you can pull out the OCC cost to change the OCC cost. Uh, and then there is a juice door right here very very nice big juice door uh, all of the UL products nowadays they got this juice door uh, to monitor your e-juice uh, and then right here for the cartridge uh, you can see the minimum it writes minimum right here right here it got rice minimum so your e-juice cannot be lower than this minimum lah okay uh, this line right here lah for this cartridge as you can see right here it writes pro f o c s u well like this okay so right now let's just try about the power okay actually the flavoring is the same as I mentioned they are using the same OCC cost like the uh, it's compatible with the previous uh Caliburn as well and then for this one uh, the cartridge is also the same it's only the feel uh, the power the chipset let's just try and see press the fire button Whoa. the mineral shock I'll tell you all guys this mineral very very shock uh, steam 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 there is no delay okay there is no delay at all press fire button no delay if you don't press the fire button white airflow okay so now let's just talk about the color forget to tell you all about the color okay for this one and uh, this unit they send me this uh another three colors as you all can compare by yourself this one is like an army color green green like this this one is really looks like a military lah, uh, like this lah, okay and this one uh, this one is more like antique antique type lo, like this lo. Uh, and this one is a silver color silver is also nice actually but if you want more plain uh, you can take the black color lah. uh either these two lah, uh my choice lah, okay and for this one the tenet coco they still got this color Okay, you can compare by yourself and another one is this uh, white color white and black color actually if you want to take white and black color it looks like plastic but actually it's not plastic device uh, guys it's just the white color it makes until it looks like a plastic but actually it's not a plastic device this one is got a little bit annoying for me it's kang 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 like this okay kang 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 instead of just making a hole like this or either you can take out this uh, pin by yourself and then just put your lanyard through this hole also can maybe other type of lanyard lah and this one is a red black color uh, actually when you first take a look at this logo uh, at the first when I look like this uh, I thought it's a taken you know but not 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 taken it's a tenet uh, tenet so the lanyard that they provide is like this lah okay the lanyard that they provide is like this pin pin for you all to pin lah okay you just pin it like this just pin it like this uh, and then you can wear lah you can wear like this okay nice right oh cold low uh, bersi it's a steel okay and then just wear it like this uh, so now let's just try about the performance I'm using the this cartridge okay let's just try about the for this one see got more powerful not this one one thing I don't like lah for the honors there is no button lah hopefully they coming out with all those cocoa version that can for you all to press the fire button <laughs> Shock man, okay. For this one, they got a fire button, but it's only 16 watt. For this one, there is no button, but it's 18 watt max, lah. Okay. So if you actually the cartridge, ah, uh, uh, you don't need to adjust the airflow, lah. I suggest you if you're using the 0 0.8 ohm, uh, you better use the full watt airflow. But if I close the cartridge, ah, uh, okay, I close a bit, just left one hole, lah. Uh. It's tight. It's working. The cartridge, even though it's just a small dial, uh, but actually it's working. Okay. See, very tight. Very tight. Okay. And if I adjust to full airflow, uh, see, ah, uh, see, ah. Uh very tight you know the 180 degrees airflow you don't need to turn because the cartridge right there is already got one down for you to adjust the airflow oh shock mineral cardinal crystal mineral you also need to try and for this one okay let's just try for this one press the fire button 
it's like boosting up the power you know if you press the fire button ah different feel you got you can taste a little bit like different feel more powerful maybe it's because 16 watt and then they add on one button for you so you can feel like 18 watt feel like, like this lah okay see see ya yeah. oh mean call Sure, this e juice memang shock. Okay, so if you just directly draw activated, uh, draw activation like this, uh, same as well. Okay, it's just mindset. Maybe, however, you press the fire button, you can feel more powerful. Uh. For this one, there is no power button. Uh. Okay, hey, sorry, sorry, but it still feels comfortable and also okay as well. Uh. Uh, it depends on your all guys. Uh. You all like the square cocoa version or you all like the normal stick version. It depends on your all guys. Both of these devices actually the performance is almost the same. They are using the same battery, same ohm, same OCC coils, and then the chipset is almost the same. But for this one, the battery milliamp is 950. For this one, is 750 milliamp battery. And for this one, there is no button which is can pump up 18 watt max. For this one, there is a button provide for your all, and there is a vibrate. See, pump pump like this okay if uh, there is no coins detected okay and for this one you can only pump up until the max is 16 watt lah. it's quite headache guys okay uh, there is a 0 0.8 1 ohm and 1.2 ohm for this UL UN2 Pro FOCS OCC cost lah, you all can choose three different types but inside the packaging it's already got two OCC cost which is the 0 0.8 ohm and also the 1.2 ohm for you all lah. is it correct uh, 1.2 ohm lah. the 1 ohm it stays at the middle lah. so that's all that I want to tell you about this UL Tenet Coco UL Caliban Tenet and Tenet Coco ah, this type of design you all can see nice or not? Uh, cyberpunk cyberpunk like this lah okay I see you all at my next reviews again my name is Adrian Lo Arika Talk Kam Samida oh yeah remember Cardinal Crystal Mineral